So here we are on day eight. You can see our temperatures drop to about 158 degrees. That's pretty typical that your thermophilic cycle will begin to decline. Eight to 10, 12, 14 days even I've seen it. But uh, it may not actually be declining yet. If you look around, this is what it's been like for two days. Constant drizzle. No need to keep the pile wet. Nature's doing it for us. Um, and when you add water uh, in any level of excess at all to one of these piles, you end up with some drop in temperature. But I don't think that's it. I think this is pretty consistent. And you notice, like, one of the reasons that people will tarp compost is so you don't get, like, a deluge of rain on it. I've never really worried about it much, though I can see why you might. But it's not like we're soaking through it or anything. Both of the piles are looking good, nice and warm. And I've had people ask me about the wood cap and how is the wood cap actually going to get down in there. Well, I'm going to go down in the wood cap right here. And it's not even warm, okay? Now, I'm, I'm down almost to where I'm touching straw. Right, I'm sorry, right here. Like, this isn't even warm, right? I mean, it's not even warm at all. It's not that it's not hot, it's not warm. Right there, my fingers just touch straw, and I can feel warmth, but not really heat. And there's a little warm, almost like a, it's like acting like a blanket. And so this, these wood chips, with no real nitrogen with them, they're just raw wood chips out of my field, very fungally infected. I mean, you could just, when I'm doing this, I can smell mushrooms. These are just not going to fully break down, and they're certainly not going to do it with heat. They just break down organically and naturally. So, like I've said before, when that thermo cycle is done and it's completed, these mushrooms, all of that fungi that has colonized them as they've been sitting, and you can't see it, but they're over there behind that clump of trees in my field. There's probably 20, 30 yards sitting over there. All of that's gonna go down in, and again, this one here, if I start digging down, you know, they're only about two inches deep. So right there, my fingers are touching the straw and that's where I get the first inkling of warmth and it's not hot it's maybe body temperature right where the right where the connection between the wood chips and the straw is which makes sense because you're gonna get a little bit of breakdown there a little bit of a nitrogen carbon exchange right at that layer but overall these wood chips again they're just a blanket of carbon that help cap the system maintain the moisture and eventually fungally colonize the system